My name is Pete Stevens, and uh, as you can see, I'm probably a bit older than the average uh, MSc student. Um, I did my first degree back in the early 90s in software engineering at UMIST in Manchester. Um, since then, I've been in the IT business for a good 15 or 16 years, um, working for a lot of the large consultancy firms, been involved in setting up uh, incubator companies for British Telecom. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I lost my job last year um, as a head of technology for a small niche management consultancy. Uh, so I felt, well, rather than go back looking for a new job and competing with new people, there was a number of things I wanted to teach myself in technology because my skills have got a bit old because, as you appreciate, technology's moved on considerably since the early 90s. So I enrolled on the MSc Informatics. I have to admit I was a bit apprehensive of being a mature student because, um, well, I wonder how many brain cells I've lost since I did my first degree in the 90s. Um, but I, I fitted in very, very well, actually, uh, and we all get on quite well. I don't feel like a, a, a mature student as opposed to my other colleagues. And I've made quite a few friends as well uh, through playing football and going out for a beer after college with some of these guys. Uh, and uh, it's been very good. When I, I did my degree back in the 90s, we didn't have this level of technology. In fact, I think I'd only just come across the internet at that particular stage, and everything was green screen. Um, the facilities are is at this uh, system called Blackboard, which you can get access to all the notes for the, uh, uh, for, for the lectures. Um, you can submit your assignments online and many, many other resources. Uh, that was very useful, so you can work. 24 by 7 if you have to to get a, an assignment in and I have done at the last minute as usual. Um, the um, library facilities are excellent because you can do uh, a lot of online research because there's a lot of electronic books online and journals. One of the things that I was surprised about coming to Kingston University was um, the amount of extracurricular stuff that is useful vocationally. Um, there's certainly um, put a lot of effort into trying to find a job for you, trying to help you with CV writing. In fact, I've made use of that CV, uh, CV writing, um, where uh, I've had my CV reviewed and suggestions made about how to improve it. The other thing that was useful, um, because of my interest in web entrepreneurship, is that there is, um, uh, say, an out-of-hours entrepreneurship um, group, which meets quite regularly, and they get in uh, people from industry to come and speak about their experiences. And I found that quite useful um, just to listen to these guys. I mean, I've, you know, I've, I've heard some of this stuff before, but occasionally you pick up new nuggets. But most importantly is the ability to network people with the same interests and who they network with. So that's been very, very useful. All the modules I've done, they've brought in people from industry. And it's not just been people from a training company, but these have been the people who, who have literally driven that part of the industry. For example, uh, agile development. I mean, they could have got someone in from a training company to do that, but they didn't. They actually got the people that actually formed the original Agile um, concept. I mean, these are the people that, that, that come up with the ideas. Um, we did something on IT entrepreneurship, and we actually had the, um, one of the senior guys from Google come in and talk to us about uh, entrepreneurship, IT entrepreneurship, which for me was exceptionally useful to see somebody um, talk about the future um, of, 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 where, of where the web's going. We had another chap who was the um, founders of something called Grid Computing from the uh, Oxford uh, Rutherford Labs come in and tell us the future of where IT is coming. All this stuff I found exceptionally useful and I've even spoken to some of my colleagues who are still in industry about this and they've been very interested in getting hold of some of the information of some of those lectures. So it's been extremely useful for me. My advice about people coming to Kingston, certainly people in my shoes who are a little bit older, um, I was very, very apprehensive and I've, I've fitted in extremely well and um, I coped extremely well with, 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 with the assignments and it stretched me and it's got me interested again in, in, in my profession. Um, my advice in general to everyone else is, is try and treat it, treat it a bit like a job. It's a nine to five job. It's, it, it's certainly a bit different to the environment in my first degree. Um, with the way they've um, created this modular course, you know, you've got to come in nine to five and then work very hard to some very um, strict timescales to deliver. But I think if you do that, you can pass.